بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. Today, my dear students, we are going to complete the grammatical rule, which is connected with when, if, and unless. Today, we are going to know and use when instead of if. Okay, we use when in place of if to talk about general truths or facts. Use the present tense in both clauses because they are in the zero conditional or in the present facts conditional. The examples here, number one. When you press the button, the washing machine turns off. This means it's a fact. If you do this, you will have that. Okay? And it's a fact or it's a truth. Exercise, sorry, example number two. When water reaches 100 degrees centigrade, it boils. Hmm? It's also a fact that if you boil water, if you boil water or it reaches 100 degrees centigrade or Celsius, it boils. Huh? It's also a fact or a truth. We can also use the word unless in place of if in negative sentences okay the first example unless i study hard i won't get top marks here if you uh, want to use if instead of unless you will add huh, a negative like if I don't study hard, I won't get top marks, okay? Because you know, if plus not equals unless, or unless equals if plus not, or plus negative. Exercise, sorry, example number two. Unless you exercise, you probably won't lose weight. Also, we can use if. If you don't exercise, you probably won't lose weight. Number three, unless you study harder, you will fail the test. I can say, if you don't study harder, you will fail huh, the test. Okay, so to summarize what we have said, uh, we use when instead of if to talk about general truths or facts. We, we can also use unless instead of if plus negative. Or we can use unless in place of if in negative sentences. Okay. Uh, read the advertisements. Work with a partner and persuade him or her to buy the product. Use sentences with when, if, and unless. Here we have examples about the three words you said just like uh, what we are going to read. When you brush your teeth with a sparkle toothpaste, your teeth will be cleaner and brighter. If you buy this tooth toothpaste, your teeth will look great. If you don't buy this toothpaste, you might need to visit the dentist. Unless you buy this toothpaste, your teeth will look terrible. Work in a partner, work with a partner, talk about your preferences and give some reasons. Use conditional sentences in the present or future. The example, I'd prefer to go the mall. If we go to the mall, we can also have lunch in the restaurant. Number two, E-learning or classroom? I can say, I'd prefer to go to the classroom. If we go to the classroom, we can meet our friends. Number three, get a job or go to the college? I can say, I'd prefer to uh, get a job. If I get a job, I can buy a car. Or... If I have a job, or if I get a job, I can uh, uh, earn a lot of money. 
Number four, buy a motorbike or buy a car. I'd prefer to buy a car. If I buy a car, I can go to different places with my family. Okay. If I have or if I buy a car, I can go to different places with my family. The last one, number five. Visit Dubai or visit Muscat. I'd prefer to visit Dubai. If I visit Dubai, I can go shopping. Or if I visit Dubai, I can visit Burj Khalifa. Okay, that is the end of our lesson today. Thank you and goodbye.